after all, and I haven't heard a reference to money yet, so we'll see how much this ends up costing. I'm gonna ballpark it in between uh, one and two hundred dollars. Yes. Um, total, it comes to one sixty-seven sixty. Okay, 167.60 is the price of uh, my freedom to drive, so I will pay that. I brought some of the King's cash with me because they only accept the King's cash. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay. There we go. Yes. Yes, thank you. So this is the great step, the process I've been waiting for, for I guess a month and a half. I don't know why I waited so long. It was pretty silly. Um, you know, I lost a lot of opportunities to drive people places, to drive myself places. Uh, who knows what opportunity cost there has been to uh, waiting all this time to ask permission to drive. I considered driving without the permission, you know, just you know, without the plates, or without paying the money, or all of that. I would have saved a lot of money in the short term. Okay, thank you. Here they are. But, um, you know, in the long run, going to jail for something like that is uh, just not something I'm willing to do. It's not something that people really seem to care about. Um, a lot of people are willing to comply with this one. But uh, one day it'll be offensive enough for people to resist. Peacefully, of course. I think it's always interesting that there's a cash register here. Of course there is, because you know it's like revenue collection, they're going to deal with a lot of cash, but um, it's funny seeing a cash register in a government building to me, because it just cries commercial, you know, we're here to collect money. Well, I have plates, and I happen to be... Thank you. The leasing company was February and on February also. Mm -hmm. So that, do you have that registration? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so one sixty-seven sixty. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. And then if you could please sign each one of these by the X. Yes. I'll rip them apart for you. Okay. I'd like to use my pen. I always avoid using these uh, public pens in banks or government buildings. I always use a trusty pilot. So here's the form that I'm going to sign. Okay. On each line? Yes, please. Certainly. Left would be to get it inspected. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Thanks for all your help. Okay, so that was it. Uh, all in all, let's see, the process took about 25 minutes. Not terrible as far as government time goes, but, uh, you know, 25 minutes picking up these plates, but it's been a month and a half waiting. Uh, to figure out about, am I going to ask for permission, am I going to get these plates? Now these little pieces of metal are really all it was about. Uh, now if I put these pieces of metal on my car, I'm going to be allowed to drive it around. Otherwise, not allowed. Uh, foreign concept to me, but that's how slave world works today. Hopefully one day registration won't be necessary. People will put some other sort of identifying information on their vehicle. A friend of mine, Ian, he puts his phone number on the front plate. I think that's a nice way to allow people to communicate with you on the road if they have a problem. Maybe if you cut them off, you could 
call him up, say, hey, you're driving like a madman, or whatever. At least it's some way accountable. You know, if I grab someone's plates, I have nothing, no way to do anything with those. I have to report them to the police. So I think it would be better if uh, people had some other way to identify their vehicles to the public. Anyway, I'm very happy with the registration. Live free or die. Yeah, right. I heard prisoners make these plates. I'm not sure if that's true or not. But live free or die is certainly not something I've experienced here. It's not, I mean, there's more freedom than other places, like in Philadelphia, where I was originally from. But in other ways, there's less. Because I think in Philadelphia, a lot of people just skirt the rules. Uh, they ignore them. There are enough people that you can skirt by without complying, especially if you're white and have money. But uh, if you're disenfranchised by being poor or a person of color, we'll forget about it. It's just the way it is. Now, I want to live in a world where everyone's treated equally, uh, where it doesn't matter what color you are or how much money you have, that everyone's treated the same uh, with respect. But we're not there yet. Hopefully, by Leading by example, we can get there and one day live in a free world. That's my hope. Hey, if you liked videos like this, check out my website at DerekJ.me. Peace.